Hi guys, Coach RJ here and welcome to our new episode of RJ's Math and Science Workshop where we learn as one and we learn it fun. So it's a nice day today guys, new opportunity to learn for our Integral Calculus class and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and click the bell button for more notifications. So stay tuned and have a great day. So for the lesson today guys, in our Integral Calculus class, we will focus on the third type of integration which talks about trigonometric substitution. We already done for our trigonometric integrals basics and we're also done for our integration by parts. Now, we will use this method for the complicated cases of integral expressions. Uh, in the case that meron kasi tayong mga expressions na mahirap i-substitute or mahirap gamitan ng basics. So now, for this technique of integration, mapapadali natin yung pag-solve natin sa ating integral expressions. So, before we discuss this topic, let's assume that u is the differentiable function of x, as always, and a is our constant for this type of uh, technique. So, when your integrand in the integral expression contains a squared minus u squared, then you will use this substitution u is equal to a sine theta. And for the second one, if we uh, see or if we encounter this type or this expression a squared plus u squared, then you will use the substitution u is equal to a tangent theta. And for the third one, if we encounter in your integral expression u squared minus a squared, then you will use the substitution u is equal to a secant theta. Okay? So, it has a similarity for the lesson of the integrals yielding inverse trigonometric functions in which, number one, we will substitute u and a or we will identify our u and our a. And number two, na nakikita natin, di ba na, yung u squared minus a squared is for inverse secant, a squared plus u squared is for inverse tangent, and a squared minus u squared is for inverse sine. So, if you will contrast the two, it has a similarity but it is different on the use, okay? So, for this time, we will just focus on this technique, okay? This uh, method, again, will be used for the complicated cases of the integral expressions, okay? In the sense that um, there is no uh, fundamental rule that will base on your expression, then you have to use this method of integration. If you know the use substitution already, then it is easy for you to deal with this technique. So, to understand further, let's have examples. Let's have some examples. The first one, the integration of x dx all over the square root of 4 minus x squared. So, as you can observe in this expression, mas madali na lang siya because we can do you substitution here. We will substitute 4 minus x squared, then get this differential, then you can solve it now. However, for the purpose of doing trigonometric substitution, then we will do trigonometric substitution. Okay? So, what will we do first? First, we will assume values. So, ano yung values natin i-assume? So, let u is equal to x and a is equal to 2. And another thing that you need to observe using this technique you will observe the inner part of the radical sign in which you can see 4 minus x squared. And for our basis para makasubstitute ng isang trigonometric identity, then we need to observe the constant and the u kung saan siya naka-place. Naka okay? Nakita natin na nandito siya sa, ito yung form niya, a squared minus u squared. So for this case, we will use our substitution as u is equal to a sine theta where our a is 2. So therefore, u is equal to 2 sine theta. And take note that u is equal to x. Therefore, we will substitute u as x is equal to 2 sine theta. Okay? So now, after we do the assumptions, let's construct first a right triangle. Why do we need to do this? Because we will identify some ratios that is involved when we get the integral of this expression. You will see later. So, remember in our basic trigonometry, sine theta is opposite over 
hypotenuse. Okay? So, let's say this is our angle theta. Then, the opposite of that one, the side opposite to the angle, is our x. Then, the hypotenuse of this uh, triangle is 2. Based on this expression, di ba? We divide natin both sides by 2, this becomes x over 2. Right? So, if this is x over 2, then our relationship is this one. Okay? So, to find this adjacent side to the angle theta, we need to use Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, to use Pythagorean theorem, we will compute c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Then, tipatan natin sa kabila, this becomes c squared minus a squared is equal to b squared. Lagay mo na natin, 4 minus x squared is equal to b squared. Then, taking the square root to both sides, this becomes the square root of 4 minus x squared is equal to b. Therefore, this side is square root of 4 minus x squared. So, we have now the three sides of the right triangle. Remember, when we do this type of integration, or when we do this type of method, we need to review our plane trigonometry here, okay? So, in reviewing our plane trigonometry, we will identify the trigonometric terms that will satisfy in our substitution later on. Later, you will see. So, now let's proceed to our substitution. You can plug in all the numbers that we assumed. So, the integration of our x is 2 sine theta. So, this becomes 2 sine theta. Then, our dx here is, to get our dx, we will differentiate both sides. So, this becomes dx is equal to 2 cosine theta d theta. Then, we plug in. So, this becomes 2 cosine theta d theta all over the square root of 4 minus quantity 2 sine theta squared. Then, to simplify the denominator, we can get 2 sine theta times 2 cosine theta d theta all over square root of 4 minus 4 sine squared theta. And there's a common factor here, so we need to factor out. So this becomes the integration of 4 sine theta cosine theta d theta because from 2, tam 2 times 2. Then we will factor out 4 times quantity 1 minus sine squared theta. And for this case, remember that 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine squared theta. So we need to change it by its Pythagorean identity. So this becomes the integration of 4 sine theta cosine theta d theta and all over 4 cosine squared theta. And we need to extract their square root. So their square root becomes 4 sine, uh, sine theta cosine theta d theta all over 2 cosine theta. And we can cancel out cosine and we can divide out this case. So, ang natira na lang po is the integration of 2 sine theta d theta. Now, we are now in our basic. The integration of 2 sine theta is equal to negative 2 cosine theta. Okay? Plus c. You don't forget plus c when you integrate. So now, I will ask you, is this our final answer? If you say no, then you're correct. Because ang ating expression is theta. It is not x. So we need to substitute back our x value here. So, magtataka kayo, Coach, bakit cosine theta? Wala namang cosine theta sa ating substitution earlier. That is the purpose of our right triangle in which you will find the relationship of cosine theta. So, what is our cosine theta here? When you review your plane trigonometry, our sine, uh, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Therefore, our adjacent side here is square root of 4 minus x squared and our hypotenuse here is 2. So, therefore, that's our cosine theta. And we will substitute it here. That is why the answer is negative 2 times square root of 4 minus x squared all over 2 plus c. And we cancel out 2. So, our final answer will be negative 
square root of 4 minus x squared plus c. Okay, so this is our final answer. So if you have confusions, guys, you can freely comment there in our comment section. Or if you have recommendations, just chat me. Okay? So again, guys, it is also important to review our plane trigonometry. Okay? Let's have our second example. The integration of dx all over quantity 2x minus 3 square root of 5 minus 12x plus 4x squared. Okay? So, as you can see here, we will encounter now a trinomial. So, takasanayan na po natin na if we will see a trinomial and we will do trigonometric substitution, then we need to transform this trinomial by algebra into, into its vertex form by completing the square. Okay? So, first, that is the first thing that we will do. Okay? So, the integration of dx all over quantity 2x minus 3. And let's make these two terms as our perfect square trinomial. So, by using completing the square, we will add and subtract 9. Okay? So, this becomes 5 minus 9 plus 9 minus 12x plus 4x squared. Let's extend. Okay? So, as you can see, you... you Perform operations, this becomes negative 4, and this becomes our square of binomial. So, this becomes the integration of dx all over quantity 2x minus 3, the square root of negative 4 plus quantity 2x minus 3 squared. Okay? So, now, as you can observe here, it is in the form of u squared minus a squared because if I will rearrange this becomes quantity 2x minus 3, the square root of quantity 2x minus 3 squared minus 4. So now we can use our substitutions. So we will let u is equal to 2x minus 3 and our a is 2. Therefore, since this is our form, u squared minus a squared, then we will substitute secant theta. So therefore, u is equal to to secant theta and 2x minus 3 is equal to 2 secant theta. Okay? Next, we will construct a right triangle. So now this is our right triangle. This is our theta. So now, we can identify now our values by the use of our trigonometric ratio, which is secant theta. And remember, secant theta is the reciprocal of cosine. And the cosine here is adjacent over hypotenuse. Kung reciprocal natin, baliktad lang. So, hypotenuse over adjacent. So, this is our hypotenuse, 2x minus 3. And our adjacent is 2. Therefore, this value by the use of Pythagorean theorem is square root of 5 minus 12x plus 4x squared. Okay? So, we have now our values here. We will get our differential. So, the differential of x is 2dx is equal to 2 secant theta tangent theta d theta. We cancel the 2. Therefore, dx is equal to secant theta tangent theta d theta. Okay? So, we plug in. So, this becomes secant theta tangent theta d theta all over. Our 2x minus 3 here is 2 secant theta. And our value of x here or value of the inside becomes um, 2 secant theta squared minus 4. Okay? So, now... Canceling the secant theta, matitira na lang po tangent theta d theta. Okay? Then, 2, the square root of quantity, f ah, sorry, wala na pong quantity. The square root of 4, secant squared theta minus 4. Then, we factor out 4. The integration of tangent theta d theta all over. Then, factoring out 4, then taking its square root, we can get, 2 times 2 na lang. Then, 
And remember, ang natira na lang po, since we factor out 4, ang matitira na lang po is secant squared theta minus 1, which has a Pythagorean identity of tangent squared theta. And the square root of tangent squared theta is tangent theta. So, we cancel. Ang natira na lang po is 1 over 4 d theta. And getting its integral, we can see theta plus c. Is this our final answer? No, because in our right triangle, we need to find the value of theta. And coach, bakit dito naman a eh, trigonometric ratio na mahanap natin? Paano natin mahanap ang theta? Then, we will use our inverse trigonometric functions. Okay? So, kanina, na, alam na natin ang assumptions natin kanina na ang secant theta is equal to 2x minus 3 all over 2. Then, we will just get the inverse of that one. So, the inverse of that one is arc secant 2x minus 3 all over 2. Okay? So, that is the value of theta. And the final answer will be 1 fourth. Sorry, nakalimutan ko yung 1 fourth dito. 1 fourth arc secant 2x minus 3 all over 2 plus c. So, this is our final answer. Okay? So, if you have questions, guys, don't hesitate to ask. Okay? Okay, guys, if you have questions, feel free to chat there. And to practice this lesson, uh, let's have our practice quiz. Okay? Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel RJ's Math and Science Workshop and click the bell button there for more notifications. And share it to the others, especially those who are taking their integral calculus class, doing their advanced lessons, and preparing for their summative assessment. So shout out nga pala kay Miss Alea Shane Yamoda. She's currently taking BS Chemical Engineering in Ateneo de Davao University. Hello Dai, stay safe there. And for more viewers there, thank you so much guys. And Thank you so much for listening and watching my videos. Stay safe and have a great day. God bless.